In this video, we're going to learn how to remove the duplicate characters from a string in C. The first thing we'll do is create a test string. So we'll have car s is equal to, and then we'll have a string with a fair number of duplicate characters. Removing the duplicate characters from a string means that we're going to remove any duplicate occurrences of a character after the first occurrence of that character. So here, the character lowercase a occurs. But then we have all these duplicate occurrences here and here. It's these duplicate occurrences that we want to remove. We'll actually create a function to do this. We'll call the function remove duplicates and the function will accept a string as an argument. The function has a void return type because it doesn't need to return any value. We'll also include the string.h library so we can use the string length function to find the length of the string. We'll copy and paste this down here, and then we'll create our definition of the function. The first thing we'll do is find the length of the string. So we'll have int length is equal to strlen string. So here we're passing the string as an argument to the string length function strlen. It's going to return the length of the string, not including the special null terminator character that ends the string. We'll store that length into the length variable. We're going to solve this problem by using a loop that's nested inside a loop, which is nested inside another loop, so a triply nested loop. The outermost loop is going to examine the string one character at a time from the left to the right until the length of the string is reached. We'll create that loop first. We'll have for int i is equal to zero. i is less than the length of the string and then I++. Plus plus. So in this outermost loop here, we're using the counter variable I to loop through the indexes of our string. So I will start off at index zero, then with each loop iteration, it's going to be incremented until we reach the end of the string. Now the loop inside of this loop will have a different job. We're going to say that the character at the index I is the character that we're currently examining. And then we're going to use this next loop to check all the remaining characters in the string to see if any of them are duplicates, to see if any of them are a match for the character that we're currently examining. So we'll have for int j is equal to i plus one. So here, we're starting the counter variable j off at the index i plus one, because that's going to be one to the right of the character that we're currently examining at the index i. We'll again stop the loop once j reaches the length of the string. So for example, when I is set to the index zero, we're going to be examining this character right here, lowercase a. Then this inner loop here is going to start j off at the index i plus one. So we're going to check all these characters here. We're going to see if any of them are duplicate occurrences of the character lowercase a that we're currently examining. We could use an if statement to do this. So in this loop, we'll have if the string at the index i is equal to the string at the index j, that means we found a duplicate occurrence of the character that we're currently examining in the remaining portion of the string. And we know that the duplicate character occurs at the index j. To remove this character from the string, what we're going to do is pull forward all the remaining characters in the string by one index. This will actually remove the character from the string. So let's imagine that we have a string with the word test in it, and we want to delete a character in that string. So at the indexes 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, we would have the characters T, E, S, T, and then the special null terminator character that ends the string. Let's say we want to delete the character E. If we shifted forward by one index, the remaining characters in the string from this index onward, that would delete E. So we would have S here, and then T here, and then the special null terminator character here. And we would be left with this string here, because the string would now end here at the new index of the new null terminator character. So that's what the third innermost loop is going to do. It's going to shift forward by one index, all the characters from the index J onwards. So here we'll have for int k is equal to j, k 
is less than length, k plus plus. And then in this loop, we'll have string at the index k is equal to string at the index k plus one to shift forward all those characters by one index. Now at this point, we'll have actually altered the length of the string. The string will be one less character in length. So here, we're going to actually decrement length by one to reflect this. Now in this loop here, notice that we're not incrementing j. That's because of this possibility here, where we find that the character at the index j actually needs to be removed from the string. If that's the case, there's going to be a new character at the index j that we haven't yet checked. So we're only going to increment j if the character at the index j was not a duplicate, because if it is a duplicate, it's going to have been removed. And the character at the index j is going to be a new character to check. So here we'll have else j++. And we increment j to check the next character in the string only if the character at the index j was not a duplicate. So we can test our function out now. Up here, we'll call remove duplicates and we'll pass it the string s as an argument. Then here, we'll print out the resulting string. So we'll have printf percent s backslash n and then s. So if we save compile and run our program, we get a, b, c, d, e, as expected. So this is how we can remove duplicate characters from a string using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.